Hello and welcome back to another video on the Over the Directory YouTube channel. Now, you may have noticed from the title this is not a Team Fortress 2 video. No, we are delving into my other love of a video game and that is Minecraft. Get the f*** out of my room and play Minecraft! What a game this is. This really kickstarted my journey to becoming a gamer, if you will. Um, it was the first proper game I was ever purchased and I got it as a birthday present, so that was very pog. If you could read, you'll know what I'm doing. I'm explaining every Minecraft enchantment to you guys so you know what each of them does and you're not confused by these weird names like sharpness and piercing and riptide. What do they all mean? Well, I'm here to tell you. If you see the timeline, this should all be segmented into little chapters for each enchantment so you can quickly find what you need. It can be quick explanations, maybe some funnies, who knows. I'm making this up as I go. But without further ado, Let's get in to the enchants. Uh, these first enchantments are kind of miscellaneous little ones, and they are mending, which repairs an item when gaining XP. So I'll give you an example. You're mining a diamond. Oh, you get a bit of XP from that mine. Whoa, your tool has been repaired. Lovely stuff. Unbreaking. Now this one is a bit confusing because it does not make your weapon invincible. No, it only increases item durability, but it increases it quite a bit. So you, you can still use it for much longer than an unenchanted version. Pain of arthropods. Now this increases damage and applies slowness four to arthropods. What are arthropods you ask? Oh well, it's all these mobs here. Fire aspect. Now this is the pyramines choice of an enchant. It sets targets on fire. That one's pretty simple. Looting. More loot from killed mobs. So instead of getting one gunpowder from a creeper, you could get two. Oh hey! This also helps with wear drops, such as chainmail and wither schools, to name a few. Knockback. Um, knocks mobs back. I, I, I. <laughs> Sharpness increases weapons damage. Smite is a free-to-play MOBA available on PC, Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. It also increases damage to undead mobs, such as zombies and skeletons. Sweeping Edge increases the sweeping damage. What sweeping damage, you ask? Well, when your sword does this animation, that is sweeping damage. Efficiency, mine quick, or increase shield stun chance if used on an axe. Fortune, more loot from mining. Instead of getting one diamond, you might get two. This is not absolute though. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the level. Silk Touch. Mind blocks will drop as the block. Say you're mining some diamond or some stone with a silk touch pickaxe. Instead of dropping a diamond block or cobblestone, it will drop diamond ore or stone. Cleaving. More damage and a longer stun on your axe. This actually used to be called chopping, so if, if you notice chopping, it's just been renamed to cleaving. Flame. Once again, the pyro's choice, but this time for an arrow or bow, I guess. Infinity. Shooting arrows does not consume ammo. You just need one arrow in your inventory and you're good to go. Power. It, it does what it says on the tin. More power. Punch. Essentially, knock back for arrows. Multi-shot. Shoots three arrows for the price of one. I must say, what a steal. Piercing. Uh, arrows can pass through multiple targets and shields. This is a very good one. If you've got a bunch of mobs in a corridor, you can just rip through a bunch of them. Very cool. Quick charge. This is a pretty new invention and it charges your phone quickly as well as your crossbow which normally takes about six years to load but this this one it only does it in three so that's a bonus in my book look of the sea better chance of getting that rare fishing loot oh you're fishing you don't want to fish say less my g lure quicker fish times you know when you fish and you got these little particles popping up lure reduces the the time those particles will pop up so you should get a fish quicker this is especially good if you want to speed run fishing. Uh, even, even Dream couldn't cheat that. Impaling. Trident deals more damage to mobs which don't spawn in oceans. Essentially, fish, guardians, drowned, um, dolphins, they're going to take normal damage, but if they're like a, like a spider, they'll take more damage. Channeling. Uh, subscribe to the channel while we're at it. <laughs> Channeling. Become Thor. In a thunderstorm, your trident will uh, summon a lightning bolt to hit a mob. So say you throw it at a creeper, a lightning bolt's also going to strike that creeper and probably turn it into a charged creeper. 
you've created yourself another problem. Congrats. Loyalty. In rain or water, any thrown trident will return to the player. Well, you have to throw it for it to return. But you know what I mean. Riptide is not just a song by Vance Joy. Uh, it actually launches the player in the air or in the direction of the trident when thrown in water or rain. Aqua Affinity makes mining underwater much faster. A very useful enchantment if you ask me. Depth Strider. Speed and power. Underwater. Uh, feather Falling reduces fall damage. Does not make you fall slower, which is what I thought it did. No, it just reduces fall damage, which is still very good. Uh, Frostwalker allows you to become Jesus Christ himself and walk on water. While also turning it to ice. But mainly just walking on water. Though do be careful because even coming close to water contains ice. And you don't want your fancy water fountain being turned to ice now, do we? Protection just reduces damage taken. Um, I think that was pretty obvious. Fire protection uh, reduces fire damage and the time you're actually burning. So actually kind of pog. Blast protection reduces explosion damage and knockback. Projectile protection reduces projectile damage. Soul speed is speed and power. On soul blocks like soul sand and soul soil. And thorns reflects damage taken at the cost of some of that armor's durability. And then we have the curses of Minecraft. You know the witches when they're cackling? This is what they're creating and put them in random chests across your world. Um, but you've got vanishing. Any item cursed with vanishing will disappear upon your death. And binding. Um, any item equipped cannot be removed until you die. So if you've got a, like a binding boots, they are surgically attached to your body until you die. And that is every enchantment in Minecraft, I believe. Um, hopefully this helped you decipher what some of these weirdly named enchantments are like unbreaking if it did help a like could be much appreciated as this is my first minecraft video in a couple years um but here we are it feels good i hope you found this video helpful um if there's anything else you'd like help with deciphering or working out in minecraft please tell me in the comments and i'll see what i can do other than that i hope you have a great day like and subscribe and yeah i shall see you guys another video push hey oh uh uh i've been up for like two hours two hours yo bitch can food took a few showers few showers i don't buy my just money dance yeah that wristwatch costs a hundred grand